thank you, thank you, thank you, and um, welcome you uh, wherever you are. We bless the name of the Lord. We thank God. We are reaching to you all the way from East Africa, the part of Africa, right here at Kingdom Life, Tabernacle Kampala, Uganda. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you this day. Thank you once again for the privilege that you have given us to be able to share your word with your saints around the world. And Father, I pray that your presence will abound, will abide, and will prevail, that your kingdom will come, your will will be done today as it is in heaven. We pray that your word will come with the simplicity, with the clarity, with the accuracy, and with understanding. Dear blessed Holy Spirit, breathe upon the word of God today that as it goes forth to your people around the nations of the world, you bless and sanctify them in the name of Jesus. I pray that kingdom life will be a reality to every soul, to every individual that is watching and listening to us. Father, we pray that the power of your glory, the power of your presence will prevail in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. My assignment today is to share with us the blueprint of a servant, or the blueprint of a servant leader. Like John Maxwell has often said in his writings, that everything falls and rises on a leader. Everything falls and rises on a leader. But the type of a leader or the kind of a leader or the style of leadership will determine the success of a leader. The style of leadership, the type and the kind of leadership will determine the effectiveness of any leader in life. By the grace of God, we just our recent book we list is entitled Dealing Leadership in the 21st Century, the Higher Dimension. This piece of work came out after studying several types of leadership and several kind of leadership styles. But I've come to a conclusion that the greatest kind or style of leadership is none other than servant leadership because this is what originally God has demonstrated to us when you read God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. The entire concept of Trinity uh, exposes to us the reality of servanthood or servant leadership. Uh, within the cycle or the style of Trinity, that's God the Father, God the Son, and the Holy Spirit. None of them is great. None of them is powerful. All of them are the same. They operate at different times. To begin with, in Genesis chapter 1, the Bible shows us God the Father as a servant leader. Who is a servant leader? A servant leader is anyone that is willing to serve others to their best that they may be able to maximize their potential and their purpose. Servant leadership is not about me, it's about you. Servant leadership is not about me, it's about others. Everything as far as servant leadership is concerned is about making others better serving others to their best, giving the best out of the people, maximizing the potential of those that are under your docket and those that are under your service. It is basically to give a service. There's nothing hard, nothing tough as far as servanthood leadership is concerned. It's basically your willingness to give the best of your service in order to bring the best out of those whom you are giving a service. And that's what we see Abba Father doing. You see, God the Father in Genesis uh, chapter 1 verse 26, the Bible says, and God said, let us make man in our own image and in our own likeness. Why? That they may have dominion over the fish of the sea 
and over the fall of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth.